what's going on guys hope you all are doing great this is the part two of our expense tracker tutorial with html css and javascript in this section we'll start with css as you should know we have our part one which was started with html i'll leave a link for that or you can check the description for that go watch that video make sure you have all the code in that video so you can continue with us right now in the part two which is the css we'll do a little bit of styling because we use bootstrap it's not going to be a lot of styling so we can really just finish this real quick and go straight to our javascript so that's what we're going to do today and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe like the video guys it really helps with the youtube algorithm it's completely free and yeah like the video and comment down below if you have any questions but with all that being said let's get started guys what we'll start first is we'll style everything and that's why we use star there and the way we'll start everything we'll give it a margin of zero we'll give it a padding of zero and box sizing we'll say border box save it and you can see that every additional space has been removed because that's what we want to do we don't want it to add to the space that it already created so that's why we're doing this right here what we'll do next is we'll say dot clear fix and we'll use the after and this is just the pseudo element to actually after an element so this clear fix we want to put some elements after it and what do we want to put the first thing we need to do is we need to put content and we create this string like this after that we'll give it a display I said want a table. You can see right here the way it's looking now. And then we say clear both. So that's what we did right there. And you'll see why we did this later on in the video. But just want to make sure I do it. I could have actually done it later, but it's better to do it now so we actually have that over with. We'll set the color to gray. So we'll just say hash 555. What we do next is we'll give it some font family and I'll give it open sans, but you feel free to give it whatever you want. Font size is 16 pixels and a position of relative Also add a height of 100 VH and the font weight of 400. Okay, now that we've done that, what we'll do next is we'll say dot left, left container. We'll give this a height of 100 VH. We'll add a background image. And for background image, we're using this linear gradient where we can actually combine different colors together. BD. then 03A you can see right there that's our left container after that we give it a background position of center and also a background size of cover. I 
I also give it a position of relative. Now let's get to the right container. Also have a height of 100 VH. A width of 100%. And a position of relative. Now next, we'll get to the header. We need to do something in the header. We give it a font weight of 22 pixels. I will give it a font size of 36 pixels. Looks way more bigger now, so looks way better actually. Then we say dot subtext, sub that text. What we'll do here is we'll say a font size of 22 pixel and the font weight or 400. Now we'll say dot month dash container. We'll add a padding top of 25 pixels. 25% a padding left of 5% and the padding right of 5% now we'll say calc dash container We'll add a padding top and the padding top will be 12%, padding left 5% and also padding right of 5%. Our one is FS dash white. And we'll set a color of hash FFFFF. So it's going to be six Fs. Hopefully that's not your grade. <laughs> but yeah, six Fs. FS dash dark dash gray. And here the color will be color code is four four e four e four e now we'll say the budget dash container give it a display of inline block A background of hash yeah F five F's or six F's. You could just make it white too, but prefer color codes. And border radius, of course we need that. 8 pixels and box shadowing A 0 6 pixel 4 pixel then hash 0000, zero, zero, zero. Then the month dash amount 
font size 36 pixel and font weight is 700 now we set the bottom bottom border dash border border bottom set it to one pixel solid zero zero four four six D now we we'll say also dot expense row expense dash row give it a padding of ten pixels okay, so we can see all the things we styled with the border bottom the border radius you can see now we have this borders right here and we have the line with this color right here so we can see that it's looking quite similar to what we want it to be but yeah there's still a little bit more styling to do so now we can see that we have it looking like this this is all we're going to do for the css right now we'll come back to the css to style some elements that we'll create in the javascript but for now this is how we want it to look and next part is javascript yes guys so this is how your web page should look like it should look identical to mine if it does then good job the next part is the javascript the video is coming out very soon but make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get future videos that i'll be uploading like the video guys it's completely free and really helps me out comment down below if you have any questions or if your program is not working the way it should i'm for sure i'll help you out with that I'm going to wrap this up and I'll see you all on the part three.